Hi, this is Patty from As It Is, and you are watching the Kerrang! podcast at Slam Dunk. The weekend so far has been incredible, as Slam Dunk always is. Um, it's been a really good time. Since we did it last year, we kind of know our way around a little bit better, and we know a couple more people, so it's just been, I, I'd say, even more fun overall. Um, we're sharing dressing rooms with Trash Boat, Rome, and real friends who are like bestest buds, so no complaints there. And it's been awesome. We've had such an amazing turnout, and so many people giving us so much like attention and energy, and. It's been very, very awesome. Yeah, we've just been having an awesome time up there. Maybe the most disgraceful thing or the most embarrassing thing that's happened to, to somebody in our touring party was myself, was that Alex Costello from Rome came up yesterday to do guest vocals and I forgot he was coming on the stage. So he didn't get an introduction and I looked really confused, but it all kind of went smoothly enough, but I basically just looked like a giant dick and I was like, oh, I'm sorry, but it happens, I guess. So, so leading up to Slam Dunk, we did a headline tour in which we played both our album Never Happy in full and also the previous EP This Mind of Mind in full. And it was so very cool to do that. There was an amazing turnout to the shows. Um, and it was nice to kind of like revisit some of these older songs, but equally play some songs that we'd never played live before. Um, it was a very exciting tour, and the bands we brought over to the UK, Jewel Vera from the States and With Confidence from Australia, are both incredible. Uh, lovely company as well, so we, we loved hanging out with them. But yeah, no, it was it was an insane turnout. We didn't expect uh, even half of the incredible reaction that we got, so it was it was a really really good time. Yeah, we played a, we played a song uh, called "You the Room and the Devil in Your Shoulder," uh, which is uh, it, even just on the record is just this very stripped down, just an electric guitar and a vocal, um, and it's very intimate and it's very very quiet. Um, and playing it live was was very interesting and I was incredibly like anxious and apprehensive about playing it live but it went down super super well and it was just this really nice quiet number and it was all very emotion stuff. Um, but yeah, no, it was it was so very cool to play some songs that we honestly never thought we'd, we'd play live on a stage. Um, yeah, it was an awesome time, it was cool. Um, Slam Dunk is definitely the, the closest thing that the UK has to work tour. Um, I, it's, it's awesome, just the, the summer vibes, and it's, I don't know, it, it, it feels like there's so many people at Slam, Slam Dunk, but somehow it still feels like this really tightly knit community, where, you know, you know a bunch of people who are there hanging out, and you've just got so many friends, and there's so many amazing bands playing, and it's just always a good time. I mean, we, we played Slam Dunk for the first time last year, and before that, I think we've been for four or five straight years just in the crowd, and we love Slam Dunk so very much and it's awesome to be part of it in any any means, you know, whether we're in the crowd or whether we're on the stage. I think we'd still still be here nonetheless.